Hi YouTubers, I mentioned in my ready meals uh, about the frozen chapatis. So these are the best ones that we found, which is called Shana brand, whole meal chapati. And when you open the packet, that is essentially what it looks like. It's kind of just got this plastic covering on it, which you just take off. And just heat your frying pan. And here's one that's already being done. You just turn it over a few times. until it looks cooked so you'll know when it's cooked yeah you'll know when it's cooked the see this bit here which looks uncooked that will start bulging out and don't worry if it gets slightly burnt because that's how it's supposed to be yeah and these are not quite the same as uh, when you roll out fresh chapatis, they are a bit different, but the taste isn't too bad. We actually don't mind what these taste like. Um, obviously, there's a few that we've done before, and um, just to soften it, you can add some butter if you want. You don't have to, but it kind of just helps. And just add a little bit of butter just put it on like that it's a little melt and here we have a container which is you'll buy these from any Indian shops um, or you can even get them from English shops which are basically for keeping casseroles warm but we use them for chapatis and it's obviously got the heat element here a bit like a flask and then you just cover it with a lid so that it stays warm for a little bit longer so obviously you have to do each chapati at a time and by the time you're ready to eat it could go cold so it's always useful to have that. So again, that's just another one that's been done. And these Shana Pura Chapati ones, I think you get eight. Eight in each uh, one. And I think you can buy them for about a pound in most supermarkets. Tesco's do them. A lot of Indian grocers do them. You'll find it in the fridge freezer section. So... For anyone who's a bit time short, these are quite handy. And obviously, if you're not Indian, then obviously this is really handy to to have these in your freezer when you fancy an Indian. All right, okay, just thought I'd share that with you.